I'm joined by John and Zoe in the studio. Welcome both. Thank you. Thank you. How nice to be here. Hey, good to have you here. First time? First time. First time. Definitely, yeah. yeah. All right, now Zoe, I've known you for a few years and I uh, understand you're a mindset coach. You do NLP, lots of different things. And uh, yourself, John, I just met you recently. You're, you're into the um, trading game, trading strategist. Yes, yes, I've been trading for, gee, I dabbled first in 1996. So yes, interested in trading, I've got a passion for it and um, had my challenges, but we're sure we're gonna get into that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So how did you both meet? Well, we met about <laughs> 10 years ago? Right? About 10, 12 years ago through a mutual friend um, okay. that suggested that I should um, see Zoe as I would benefit from her coaching. Mm. And true words have never been spoken actually. It yeah. was spot on. That's right. Yeah, Zoe, definitely, you definitely have a presence about you. And uh, when I've spoken to you before about all this sort of thing, you know, a mindset, positive thinking and all of that, you're really, you're really into it. And I think it could just comes naturally for you. Like when you talk, you know, you, you listen, like she's got that sort of presence. She does. Very well, commanding. Well, it's, definitely a passion. Passion. it's definitely a passion of mine. So yeah. I've been in the field now for 24 years yeah. and it's slowly evolved and grown in lots of different directions. And um, we're about to take a new turn as well with what we're doing and yeah. really about bringing the best out of people, going in and getting mm. the gold and bringing it all to the surface. Absolutely. Mm. Because, you know, a lot of people do have blocks, don't they? There's so many people out there with talents and skills and but they just don't know how to tap into it. Or they say, oh, I won't be successful. Or I can't do that. I can't make money or I can't have a successful relationship. But it's, they've just got these blocks. Well, it comes down to your internal narrative in the end. So, and what you choose to create in your life. So my specialty is finding out what the blocks are quite quickly for most people, which I have found with all the feedback that I've had. And um, we get them to their destination point, whatever they may be. Yeah. I suppose it, it, what I'm thinking is how do you get people to open up? Like I suppose you have to sort of ease into it gently too in the beginning, like when you see clients, you know, you're not gonna go gun ho and say, right, tell, tell me about your childhood. I suppose you ease into it gently, get the trust up. Well, People usually come referred. So in the last um, 20 or so years, it's all been word of mouth. So I think people are prepared yeah. for what I'm like, and I'm probably gung ho. Really? I'm ready for people that want things yesterday. Right. So anyone that wants to get there a little bit faster and wants to cut through all the fluff, we'll get you there. Mm. Sounds good. Actually, that would work for me. <laughs> it works for a lot of people. Because We're time limited. <laughs> that's true. Mm. And, and people were keen. I suppose it's like when people start a new diet as well, you want to, start you want to get into it you don't want to sort of waste time it's like monday the diet starts go to the gym you just want to go for it when Definitely. you're doing any self-development well if you are serious about what you want to do and you want to be accountable i'm definitely the person to see yeah so we'll definitely keep you accountable and we will definitely get to your goals and break down any barriers that are there yeah and it's quite interesting what comes up for most people because they don't even know that they have actually have barriers that's true so that's a really interesting thing and what the original goal is usually changes and becomes larger than life for a lot of them, they, it takes them to somewhere they never expected to be, That's which is very rewarding and amazing to be able to work with people to get them there. That is interesting. And I suppose it makes sense because sometimes people wouldn't know, you know, once you start excavating sort of in their subconscious mind, things do pop up and people say, oh, did that actually really bother me that much? And also people set goals for where they're at at the moment. So as you level up, the view is different. Yeah. and broader and more expansive and the mind opens and you want more yeah. you can create so much more yeah absolutely so you've teamed up together so you're going to be doing workshops where as Zoe you'll be talking about um, sort of unlocking blocks um, through through NLP through NLP and we'll be using some hypnotherapy um, procedures as well some mindfulness just That's really cool. getting people to um, understand that they need to be in the right type of mindset to make the right decisions to actually achieve the goals that they choose. John's amazing with what he does. He offers a great step-by-step -step procedure that if they follow, and if they follow it with a clear mind and um, a positive attitude and fear, doubt and uncertainty is um, removed, they will have absolute success. Mm. So, so there is, there's a plethora of information out there. And for me, because I know that you're about to ask me about me, so let me tell you about me. I've had an interesting journey over the last 25 years, highs and lows. Um, 
Let me tell you about an interesting story that I experienced probably in 2003, 2004. And as I was coming here today, it actually resurfaced. I, as a trader, had 14 consecutive losing trades. So what I do is I would sit behind a screen and I, these days, I, I do this as well as manage people's uh, money. Um, but on this particular evening, trading the German stock exchange, I had 14 consecutive losses. And anyone that plays this game will tell you and will attest to the fact that it's normal and it happens. And you tend to think, why me? How can I be so unlucky when you, even if you flip a coin, there's a good chance that you're going to get one right. But this, on this one particular evening, I had 14 trades that went wrong. And I was down a considerable amount of money in a span of maybe three or four hours. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to take one more. It's going to be my last one. So on my 15th trade, it moved so rapidly in my favor that from the excitement and the exuberance that I felt, I saw that I was up $50 after I think I was down maybe 4000 and I just closed out of the trade, picked up my back then desktop and threw it out of, threw it out of a two-story window, which ended up costing me a considerable amount of money because I had to replace both the two meter span window as well as my desktop. So that was my early experience. Gee, interesting. <laughs> interesting. Yeah, th like you said, there, there are a, a lot of highs and lows. That's right. You know, the share market is an interesting beast, shall we say? Oh, look, what I've found is basically through uh, an eternal quest of trying to identify what I thought would be the Holy Grail. I came to realize that there's no such thing. Mm -hmm. And if you utilize a systemized process and there's good systems and bad systems out there, and there's a lot of information. So in my quest over the last 25 years, I identified what has worked for me. And a big part, other than entries, exits, money management, the most important one that I've come to realize was the trading psychology. And that's where Zoe really stepped, mm. stepped in and, and helped me um, break through certain barriers that I had. That's right. Psychology, trading psychology, is that what you called it? Yes. Yeah. Financial... Um, yeah, trading psychology is, is a big part of it. Yeah. It's also that discipline too and getting to know the market, knowing when enough's enough, like knowing when you go from the 14th to the 15th, like you said, like when to do what, obviously, like with anything. Okay. What strategy are you employing? Well, I've, I've come to realise that there's um, a certain sequence of events that pushes markets up and down and it tends to work very much the same way, whether it's stocks or futures, commodities, Currencies, the market tends to move and bounce around levels, respect those levels, and, and I call it the, um, the paintbrush effect, which um, we'll dive right into during our workshops. Mm. Um, but um, no, it's been a, a, an absolute eye opener. Yeah, absolutely. So you've got a couple of workshops coming up. The first one is on the 3rd of September. That's the first one. Yes, yes. Right. So that's a, a four hour segment uh, where I'm going to be um, uh, exposing some of the things that I've learned and exactly how market structure works and forms and how uh, in both investors as well as proactive traders can benefit by having a better understanding as, where, as to where the market is sitting, where it's likely to go, why it's magnetized towards certain destinations and how we can all benefit from it and it applies really to everyone from because um, most of us most of us that are working have got uh, either a direct or indirect uh, relationship with the stock market be it through a super fund or self-managed super fund whatever the case for most of the working um, population mm -hmm. we are affected one way or another so it pays to have a um, better understanding I think mm. because most people don't really understand understand the market do they miss so they don't really know how it works they just trust the financial advisor you know here we go here it is this is this is true and and because I've been a financial advisor now for for close to that de two decades I've seen 
Um, how can I be polite about this? Because I don't want to be offending anyone and I don't want to... Just be yourself. I don't, I don't want to get abused. <laughs> but um, look, the truth of the matter is that most financial advisors, um, the whole game, and that's basically one of the reasons why I'm doing it, I want to debunk a whole lot of myths about how the industry actually works, but not to pick on the actual industry, but to give people the the insight of how the market works so they won't have to be so reliant on the exuberant fees that financial advisors tend to charge. So that's really one of my my aims to try and help um, the individual have a better understanding so they're not so reliant to the advisor because the advisors really more, more often than not know better than the individual. Mm. So that's the first workshop and then you've, you've got a, a few more coming up after that? Yes, we've got quite a few uh, coming up, um, but um, yeah, the first one, as you as you mentioned, is yeah. on the third of September. Third of September, excellent. So, what's it called? Blaze Corp. Yes, like Blaze, Blaze Corp. Corp. Yeah, it's a good name. Mm. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Zoe came up with it. And Joy enhanced it. So yeah, it's um, about blazing your path, creating a life that you'd like to create three gaining like financial security mm -hmm. but also having the awareness and understanding about what the why is about why you're doing it so mm -hmm. my aim is also to help people work cross contextually so not only will they be able to build security from themselves with the procedure that john will give them but it will impact all of their lives helping them understand um how to build better relationships to understand where fear uncertainty and doubt is coming from and to actually transmute it so they will walk away on that day feeling amazing empowered more than very anything. empowered yeah mm. and the actual effect that old emotion actually does have in your decision making it's quite profound what actually happens to your physical body you know when mm. you are stressed and when you're living in a stress-free or in a more mindful state and more present the decisions you make are a lot more powerful yeah and you just know people call it luck but it's not actually luck you set yourself up to get the best outcome out of everything so we're going to have a little teaser on that day and people will walk away with quite a bit. Mm. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, like you said, you know, you mentioned about relationships and I suppose it all it's all embodied, isn't it? Because if your relationships are sort of where you want them, I mean, it fluctuates, but you want to make good decisions. So if you're stressed and you've got a lot of things going on, you're not going to make good decisions. You might make a decision from the wrong place, let's say, whether it be a financial decision or whatever. It's, uh, you're absolutely right. One of my mentors by the name of um, Ed Raman, he's he mentioned exactly what he said. Don't trade, don't invest if you're emotional. You gotta yeah, be on the on the um have your wits about you. You don't wanna make any un um, educated decisions. Mm. So absolutely you've gotta be on the right path and the right uh, frame of mind. And one of the things that Zoe um has helped me understand better over time is um is the concept of thriving. Make decisions that help me on a personal level thrive and step up to something better and bigger and not be limited by generational belief systems and, and mm. the sort of concepts that we've grown up with um, that have been a, a hindrance for a lot of us over time. And we do hear that often, don't we? The generational thinking, it, it does pass on. Like you hear people say, oh gosh, I sound like my mother now. Or, mm -hmm. you know, we think that we're different, but really it's, it's sort of ingrained in us that we do have the similar thought patterns. So it's just, and not to say it, it's good or bad, whatever. I mean, there's a bunch of good and there's a bunch of not so good, but it's just sort of filtering out and being the person we want to be. Exactly. And waking up what actually works for you. And are you taking actions that serve the outcome you would like to achieve? So yeah. the power's in everyone's hands. Yeah, and like you said choice. before, it's the why. When you mm -hmm. said outcome, it's the, the, going to the question of why. You know, we often hear that. Why are you doing this? You know, why are you doing that? With people, the young ones want to be on Instagram. The why is they want to be noticed. Uh, why someone uh, get, gets married is that, uh, whatever. There's so many different things, isn't there? But we've got to work out the why. There's a lot of different things. But as I said, with Blaze Court, we're here to help people to actually understand themselves, understand why they're making the decisions they are. And when you know yourself, and that's the first relationship, I think that's really important for everyone mm -hmm. to understand why they make the decisions for themselves and are they on their path. And blaze your path is a big thing, to blaze your path. And yeah. whether it's mentally, emotionally, financially, spiritually, mm -hmm. have that full alignment. Yeah.
Yeah, interesting what you said, uh, have the, the first good relationship is the one you have with yourself. Understanding yourself. Understanding yourself. Mm. Which is quite confronting for a lot of people, but amazing at the same time. Yeah. Do you know what I'm interested in? Hypnotherapy. You are? How do you do it? <laughs> well, basically it's just following instructions. Yeah. That's all it is. It's following instructions. What? When you hypnotise someone? Anyone can be hypnotised, and there's lots of different ways to hypnotise people, but it's just basically following instructions. Well, give us an example. I don't think that's a wise decision to do on air. <laughs> oh, really? But maybe in private. <laughs> oh, yeah? Okay. Mm. So, okay, well, let's let's sort of go to the side of it and say okay. hypnotherapy for, like, someone who wants to stop smoking or, or drink less, let's say. So you know hypnotherapy how would how would you do it what a few sentences you'd say or something well first and foremost people have to decide that that's what they actually want to do yeah and before we do anything it's actually making that contract with yourself that this is for you and for nobody else so the first decision as i said earlier is that relationship with yourself so if someone wants to quit smoking or lose weight why if it's for a partner or their kids it's not going to happen or it will for a little bit and then they'll resort back to their old habits so with that, the first contract I make with people is to decide this for yourself and how will you benefit? How will it make your life more fulfilled for you? And it's a personal mm. choice. Yeah. Mm. And visualization as well, do you use that? A lot, visualization. Like so vis someone to visualize themselves in their new body, let's say, I don't know if they want to drop a couple of kilos or some people want to put on weight, some people are too thin and they want to gain some weight. So that you do that with them too, visualizing their ideal their whatever. Their ideal optimum self. So actually, so what happens is when you actually visualize something, what you're doing is you're giving unconscious, you're giving messages to your unconscious mind to actually look for things to make that happen. So you try and fit into that space. So it's it's an excellent tool to use to do that, if, especially when it's mm. completely explained to you. And we will do that on the third. I'll explain to everyone how it works how and how you bring things into fruition. Mm. Mm. Yeah, a lot of athletes do that, don't they? They do. I've done a bit of work with some athletes. I did some work um, a couple of weeks ago with a young man that's actually started his own business and um, with hair products. And he was visualising on, on what he went, what he, where he wants to go with it. And we talked about it going global. Now, believe it or not, he's in a very like um, short story form. His visualisation was so powerful that he actually left our session and within um, within the half an hour, he got a call from someone quite influential in the States, which will be going live early next week. So his business is about to go global. So he managed he applies, to... He applied all the theories of visualization, living in the moment, being in the positive mindset. Mm. And then you start to notice exactly what you need to make what you choose happen. Yeah. Very it, powerful. Because it's like people need to make room, don't they, for the... Um, for the they need to make space so when you get rid of the blocks it opens things up and then they can definitely mm. definitely we need to make space for something new yeah start weeding out the weeds yeah planting what exactly what you choose mm. but you hear people say you know when they've sort of got dealt with an issue then it's opened up themselves to to move on with their life and you think different yeah mm. but because they're putting all that space in their mind on the negative situation and then they can't put any um positivity to where they want to put it well when you look through a different lens and you see a different perspective the world looks completely different and you see things that are right in front of you but you never noticed before mm. so and that's what um, we choose to do at blaze corp is to get people in the right mindset to actually help them achieve their financial goals to live the life that they is fulfilling for them yeah and who are some motiv motivational speakers that are good these days i, rem I remember i seen you know up on the world stage like the tony robbinses of the world is he still doing that or did he you ever is. like him? I did. I actually went to see him a few years ago. Good? Pre he was actually amazing. Yeah. Quite profound, amazing energy and very profound, everything that he did. And he thought a lot about mindset and yeah. achieving your goals. Mm. Mm. So will you be doing sort of exercises to help people release the negative Definitely. energy Definitely. A body? couple, something short and sweet. Yeah. Enough to give them a taste of what's going on and leave them, they'll leave there feeling amazing. Yeah, because mm. a, a lot of tension is sort of stored in the body, isn't it? It definitely is. So 
because a lot of those Tony Robbins things, you'd see them jumping up. And he'd say, get up, everyone up and let's Well, just... they won't be jumping up unless they choose to themselves. <laughs> That's the typical American hoo-ha though, isn't it? We don't do that. No, but, but we used to do that in acting class because you get stressed, you know, you're stressed before a scene and you're all tight. And they used to make you sort of do funny jumping star jumps and run around and, and make noises. And, and it, he said, they said it would release <laughs> the energy. So, and that's what they do in all uh, these things, don't they? We're going to keep it tame for the first one. <laughs> But we will do some exercises, visualisation exercises that they've all noticed are quite a profound change. Yeah. Mm. Awesome. All right. Uh, anything else we need to cover before we wrap it up? Go visit our website. It's gone live. It's gone tonight. live uh, today, yes, at uh, blazecorp.com.au. And um, you'll find our, our workshop information on, on our website as well as on Eventbrite. Okay. So together you've got 50 years combined experience in your field. That's that's something to be proud of. It is. <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought, yeah. Who would have thought? <laughs> well, thanks for coming in. Thanks, thanks for, for having, having us. us. Actually, do you want to leave us with a quote? Like any quotes you'd like? Zoe, you'd probably be into that. Oh, here we go. Are you know those positive quotes? Yeah, Definitely. Go on, go on. Give us something. Give us go something. On, Zoe. Live your best life and change something. Because if nothing changes, <laughs> nothing changes. There we go. <laughs> Very good. John, how about you? Um, gee, uh, if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always gotten. Uh, I know yeah. it's, it's pretty, pretty blunt, but I'm hey. the same. Um, <laughs> how I roll. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you for you. having Thank us. You. Thank you very much.